I'm back. And it turns out I'm just an idiot. And I had it on my camera instead of my screen share. Okay, so let me just pick up right where I left off. Actually, I'm going to start back over so you guys can see. Sorry about that. I think I got it now. Ash, I'm going to flip it to my screen. Make sure you can see me, okay? I mean, not see me. Okay, so as I was saying, this design that we are going to work with is from the nautical bundle on Sofonti. Okay, so here is the design. As you can see, it is just a, looks like a design with black outline. So when you download this design onto your computer and bring it into Silhouette Studio, I'm gonna start that part over so you can see too. Um, I have, whoop, okay. I'm hoping that you can now see me. Okay, so here I have it downloaded. It's the zip file. I'm just gonna double click it to, to unzip the file. Zip files, by the way, are a way to give a person, another user, a download of multiple files. You compress them all into one folder and that's why you need a zip folder, okay? So in this case, um, we've got a bunch of different file formats and it's actually double because there's two different versions of this design. I'm going to use this one and I'm gonna use the SVG. Um, you do need Designer Edition, uh, Designer Plus or Business to open SVGs. If you are using the free basic version of, soft, of the software, you will need to use either Either the DXF or the J or the PNG okay so in this case I'm just gonna pull this in here and now I have my design um, so I like to work with a totally white mat so what I'm gonna do real quick is just change my media size and I'm really hoping that you're able to now correctly see everything I don't know where my phone is but I'm, I'm assuming that you can see me now I mean not see me but see my screen all right so we have the design here, which, as I mentioned in the first slide where you were literally just looking at me, um, this looks like it's transparent, but it's actually, I mean, excuse me, it looks like it's white, but it's actually transparent. You can see the, see right through it there, okay? So if you wanted to change this design to um, be a color, let's say you were trying to fill this design, this whale with like blue and you wanted to fill the flowers with different colors. If you select this design and just go up to the fill color panel and change it, this is what happens. And this often causes confusion and frustration for a lot of users who don't understand where compound paths come in. What a compound path is, is in the very simplest terms, I'm just going to show you right here on the side. You have a circle, okay, that is, a layer if you make another circle inside of that circle right now i'm going to fill these both with color okay actually i'm going to fill them with two different colors so you can kind of see right now these are two circles layered on top of each other just sitting on top of each other if i group them together they are now grouped together but move so that i can move around the design space by uh together However, think of this as a stack of pancakes. If I ungroup them, and now I make them a compound path by selecting and right-clicking and make compound path, the yellow is going to disappear. And now we have a compound path. This is a transparent, looks like a donut. Okay, so that's the way I want you to think about it. So a compound path is essentially the designs together where they're, where the where the paths, which is basically the edge of a shape, meet, that is um, a through way. Okay, so that's punched through. They are they have been combined to create um, a transparent design, which is what you have here. This is an entire series of compound paths. So a compound path, release it. Change that color again, real quick. You have not a compound path. This is just sitting on top of each other. Stack of pancakes. The, this made into a compound path, a donut. So think about it that way. And I think that will help you to understand. When you take that concept to an entire design and you want to fill different pieces with different colors, you need to release the compound path to access different colors. You'll notice group is not even an option here. Okay, group is grayed out because this is not This is just one group already. This is all one thing. What the only option you have is to release the compound path. And when you do this, when you click release compound path, 
this is where people start to freak out because this is what happens. And now you're like, oh my gosh, I've now created a giant blue thing. What you've done is release the compound path, but every single portion of that design, which you can see each has a bounding box around it, is filled with color. So the trick here is, in my opinion, it's best to fill it with white. Again, don't freak out. Your design is not gone. Change the line color to black. Now, now we can see our design again. And now what we can do, and the reason it's so, so important to have it filled with a color while you're doing this, whether that's white or whatever color you want. I think it's white. I like white because it's easier to see. But when a design is filled with white, you can select anywhere on it. If your design is transparent, do you see now? I am not able to select this piece right here. The only way I can select this inner piece of the whale, see how this one has a, um, I, have to, I have to click right on the line. That's because this piece itself is, I can't even get it. This piece itself is transparent. See that? While the rest of the design is white. So that's why to me, it's best to fill everything with white. So then I'm able to select just that piece. Okay, so now what you have is the ability to go through and fill each of these pieces with a different color. Now, there is one outside base shape. So if I select this piece on the very outside, see how it has the largest bounding box? I can move that away. That is one solid piece. Everything else is all these individual pieces. When, when this whole set and this is made a compound path, that is where you get that hollow shape, all right? So what I'm gonna do for you here is I'm gonna fill the base color of my design with black. Now I can go through and I can select, let's say I want all these individual pieces of the tail to be any some shade of blue, okay? So I have them all selected and I'm gonna click and I want them to be this teal color, okay? I can continue to do the same thing over here going through, I don't even know what that part of the whale is called, like the knit throat or something. I don't even know what this is called. Gill, that's, is that the gills? I don't know, you guys tell me. I'm gonna make that actually a little bit shade deeper change so it's, you know, looks like it's kind of gradient. All right, so then we'll pick one that's even lighter than that for the bottom, okay? And then you can go through this entire design doing this. In addition, you can go through and add patterns. So if you wanted the whale itself to be a pattern, I don't know why you would, but maybe you would. Maybe you're not working with a whale, you're working with something else. You open up your fill panel tool, go to the patterns, and now you can select to have this whale be a pattern color. If this was not released, as the if the compound path of this was not released, you would not be able to do all of this because these pieces are, would not, you wouldn't have access to these individual pieces, okay? So this is just giving you an example. You're not probably not gonna wanna do that, but maybe you wanna make it a gradient, okay? So the middle box there is the gradient, all right? So maybe that's what you wanna do. Now, if your question is, and I'm just gonna continue to, to try to talk and, and explain at the same time and fill at the same time, but why would you wanna do this? The biggest reason that you would wanna do this is for a printable, type projects, okay? So maybe you wanna print this um, as a sticker. You are not gonna probably want to print a um, design that is just black and white. You wanna fill it with color. So this is how you're going to be able to do that. Same thing, sublimation or printable, inkjet printable. All right, this is the way that you can go through and do that. Now, what you're seeing me do here is I did these leaves up top and then I did these down the bottom if you want them to be the same shade, these are your recently used colors up here, but you can also go to your color picker and select that. And then whatever you have fit selected, you just hit another color and it'll match. So I'm doing that here so that these lines that are going across the belly of the whale are all the same across the entire um, design, okay? So this is how you are going to continue to fill your design. Now, I want you to be very much aware that if, I, I don't like this gradient, I need to change it. Um, if you 
are done with filling your entire design. And I'm not going to fill this whole thing right now unless I just do it one clean swoop here. Just fill with fight. Whoop. Let's see if I can just real quick. So you can see what you are not going to do once you have filled your entire design is you are not, 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 not going to recreate the compound path. Because if you do, what that's going to do is take it all back to the original. It is gonna, it's gonna make it all one color again. Instead, once you have it all colored in, you wanna select the whole thing. I'm just holding my mouse way out and around, select, and then I'm going to group. So this way, my design will all stay together, but it's not going to be made into that pancake. It's going to, excuse me, that donut. It's going to stay as a million stacks of donuts in this case. You got a, you got a tall stack or whatever, okay? So that's how you're going to do this. Now, I'm gonna come back on camera real quick so you guys can see me. Um, so that hopefully gives you a really good idea and understanding of how and where and why you might need to control and understand how compound paths work. A couple of things I want to point out. I don't do software tutorials on Facebook Live. Uh, reason number one is what you saw in the original Facebook Live where it just it, the technical is just technically difficult. Secondly, um, we if we I basically do techniques like, you know, vinyl, different techniques, projects, and stuff on Facebook Live. Um, they're just a little bit of a better method. However, if you like software tutorials specifically, you may want to check out Silhouette U, which is my membership website. Uh, we have a blog, we have a library of videos, lots and lots like this, where it's tutorial driven, but they're all pre-recorded so, so I can kind of make sure it's as concise as possible. Um, and so if you're interested in that kind of thing, you may want to check out Silhouette U, especially if you found that you like blog posts about learning how to use the, t the software, but you are not a read and kind of understand person, but would rather show, you know, to do that. All right, so, and take this concept that we just talked about with compound paths, filling them and apply it to every design that you have basically. All right, so I want you guys to, hopefully you can go back and rewatch that. This will, this one will be on um, the Silhouette School Facebook page. Um, it'll stay there. It'll end up on YouTube eventually. I think later in the day, it, it automatically will populate over there. And yeah, I'm sorry that I can't answer questions at the same time, but I will go through and answer as many as I can. All right, and if you're interested in that um, design, grab it from the Nautical Bundle. Also, if you haven't checked out Sofonzi's new and 99 cent sale, we are, today is the last day. 30 all new designs. Um, there's a hundred copies of each for 99 cents. Okay, so you there after the hundred run out, it goes back to the regular price and some of them have already sold out. So if you're interested, that's also um, on Sofonte. I'll throw a link up to that as well. And I think that's enough for today. All right, you guys, I will see you soon.